Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a really nice looking mode line for Emacs. Okay, so right now I have the basic Emacs theme with the basic mode line here. What we're going to do is we're going to go into Deer Ed and we're first going to go down to .emacs.d down to my init.el, which is very short right now. And what I'm going to do is I need to enable Melpa first because I'm going to install a couple pack packages. So I'm going to go to melpa.org and just click on getting started here. And I just need these top two lines right here. So I'm going to copy those and then paste those in with control Y and then save it. And then I'm going to eval the buffer. Okay. So now the buffer has been evaluated. Uh, now what I can do is run the command package list packages, and that's going to refresh the packages. That's going to take a moment, and then we're going to install a couple packages, okay? So we'll just give it a sec here, and package refresh is done. So let's do Alt X, and we'll do package install. And I want to change the theme while I'm here, too, to match the mode line. So what I'm going to be doing is installing Doom themes first. So that's going to give me a, a lot of great themes to choose from. Okay, and this works on, uh, I'm doing this on Emacs 27.1. Should work on 27.2. I don't know about prior versions to that. Okay, so now I'm going to also do a package install and we'll do doom mode line okay and so that's you want to install that package that's going to be the mode line but uh, as i'll show you if we just do that it's not going to look quite right okay all right so let's go back to our knit.el and let's actually just google doom mode line here okay and we'll go to this GitHub page. And if we scroll down um, and we want to put uh, this require do mode line, do mode line one into our init.el. Okay. All right. So I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to save it. Let's, uh, let's pick a theme. Let's customize our themes here. Let's go down and let's, uh, let's actually do a search for shades. Okay, shades of purple. Let's do that one. Okay, so I'm going to say yes, I want to do that. I'm going to move back up here. I'm going to save my theme settings. And so I see it's saved for future sessions. Now I'm going to close out Emacs and I'm going to restart it. Okay. And we see we have this neat new mode line here, but we have this like E908. So what's that all about? Uh, so that doesn't look quite right yet. So to get this looking nice, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do package list packages to refresh the package list. And we're going to go up to the do mode line because there's something else we need to do that we haven't done to get this to look quite right. Okay. So if we look at the documentation here um, and we go down, let's see, where is this? Uh, okay, install, um, customize. Ah, so we need a package here and it says, uh, so how to display icons correctly. We're gonna need this package all the icons, and then we're going to need to run this command, uh, all the icons install fonts. Um, okay, so let's do that. All right, so what we're going to do now that we've refreshed our packages, we're going to go to package install, and you, and you see right here, the icons are not displaying correctly. Uh, so we'll go to package install, and we'll install all the icons. Uh, I believe that's, yep, all the icons. Hit enter. Oh, it may have installed it already. Okay, so let's let's quit out of here and let's run a command, all the icons it did, uh, all the icons, and then we want to tab for completion. Uh, so in 
install fonts. That's what we want. Install fonts. Okay. And it says, do you want to download and install fonts? Are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to say yes. Okay. It's going to go ahead and install. Okay. And we've been successfully installed all the icons. So I'm going to restart Emacs. I'm going to just quit out uh, and restart. Okay, so now when you see the scratch buffer here, you see this little icon that is a scratch icon. If I go to Control XD, and you'll see that I have a folder icon with a lock here. Um, let's create a new folder. Let's call this folder test. Um, let's go down to test, go into here. Let's create a file called test.html. Okay, and now we're in this new file and you see we have the HTML icon. Okay, and let's just, you know, we could just write like doc type HTML, save that, go back up here. Let's do a, let's do a new file. Let's do a test.css. And you see we have a CSI icon. So we could save that. Let's go back here and let's do one more. Let's do a test. Dot js okay and we have a javascript icon here okay so and once we save it that little red goes away okay the red with the cross meaning it's not saved so it's a, it's a nice little mode line nice little feature that you can install with emacs if you like this video please give it a like as it will get out to more people and i also want to thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one have a great day